How do I add multiple labels in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller, version 2.361.2. And attached to this controller, I have three agents. The first agent has two labels. The labels are Linux and x86-64. The second agent has two labels as well, Linux and ARM. And finally, agent three has two labels, Mac OS and Intel. Now I've also gone ahead and created a job that is named job one. If we take a look at the configuration, we have a basic hello world type job, but I've specified that I want this job to run on an agent that has the label of Linux. Now, if you go back to how I just described the agents, you know that we have agent one and agent two available to us because they both have Linux. So let's go ahead and go back to job one and let's see where this job actually runs. When we click on build now, take a look at the output of the log. What we'll see is that we are currently running on agent two. So when the job was scheduled to be run on the agent, a decision was made to schedule the job on agent two instead of agent one. Now, if I was to run this job again one more time, we'll see that job two ran and it's still running on agent two. So the preference for when running an agent is that a job will be rescheduled on the agent that it most recently was on. Now, let's go at this a little bit differently. Let's say that I want to make sure that this job runs only on my Linux with the x86-64 agent. So that means we have to make a change to our job. So let's go back into our job and let's reconfigure the job. And here, what we're gonna say is we're gonna say Linux and x86-64. Let's click on save and click on build now. Now in this case, in job number three, we can see that we're running on agent one. You can click into agent one and see what the two labels were, Linux and x86-64. So in this case, what we've done is we've said, all right, I want Linux, but I also need to make sure that I need to run on x64 and not ARM. Now I'm specifying the agent via those combination of labels by including the AND, and that way I know that I'm gonna land on agent one. Now let's go over and take a look at the different version of this. Let's go back into job one and let's work in our agent three, which is a Mac OS agent. In this case, what I want to do, I only want this job to run on either Mac OS or ARM. So let's change our Linux and to Mac OS or ARM. Let's go ahead and click on save. So what this means is instead of being very exclusive, I want Linux and x86-64, I don't really care. I want to run on Mac OS or I want to run on ARM. Now we know that agent three has Mac OS and it's the only agent that has Mac OS. And we know that ARM is only on agent two. So let's go ahead and run this job and let's look and see where this job runs. If we take a look at number four, we can see that it ran on agent two. So in this case, in the Mac OS versus ARM debate, ARM won and therefore agent two was selected. Now let's go ahead and go stop agent two. So let's go back to our dashboard. We'll go to agent two and we're going to disconnect our agent two agent. We'll click on yes and it's currently disconnected. We can see that again under our dashboard here to where agent two is now offline. Let's go back into job one and let's click on build now again. Remember, we have Mac OS or ARM. So when we click on build now this time and take a look at output of five, we can see that the job was scheduled to run on agent three. So when the job started, it was going to prefer going on to agent two, the ARM label, but it saw that agent two was offline. It looked around for any other ARM labels that may be available, there weren't any. So therefore it went back over to our Mac OS label saw that there was an agent, agent three, that had the Mac OS label on it, and therefore scheduled the job to run on agent three. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.